Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 62. How to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you and hopefully teaching you uh, how to target $1,000 a day. $1,000 not enough for you. You just need to increase your position size, trade more contracts. And of course, what I teach you here, you can apply to the futures, forex or stock markets so in today's sessions you'll see I have three trades for three wins using what I call the scalp and run technique in other words I'm a short-term trader I like to get in get out and I actually call it getting the cash register to ring that sort of suits my style now for some of you you might prefer to uh, trade a higher time frame and a slower chart and stay in a trade longer so we all have different personalities but exactly the same setups work or the exact same setups that I'll show you work on all markets and I'm trading here uh, five contracts so as always I do need to pull up the disclaimer you can pause the recording to read the disclaimer there is a risk in trading naturally now I'm about to release it I just haven't quite finished it I'm so busy but I'm about to release a, a, a webinar on demand you'll receive the link if you register for my ebook or one of my offers below where you'll see me actually live trade so we'll be doing recaps today but uh, I do have a uh, I think it goes for about 45 minutes a live session where you get to see me actually execute trades as I explain the trade so um, request one of my ebooks below and you'll get that for an example the truth about day trading make sure you also subscribe to my channel click on the whatever it is that appears on the screen uh, so you'll be kept up with my latest videos better still become a member everything I'm about to show you here uh, um, when I teach you the setups and show you the setups very hard to teach you the setups in under 30 minutes uh, it's all included in my program so for $197 uh, and very quick advertisement will be over in 30 seconds one minute you get all of my indicators uh, there's now over uh, 35 PowerPoints is hundreds of hours of recordings and the great news is you don't have to learn all of my setups okay you stay focused on just a couple of the setups to begin with make no mistake traders as I say here this is truly a gold mine of information there's nothing else like like this out there if it truly isn't and I have a bonus where also included in the 197 you can attend uh, one month of my live coaching sessions uh, that is I run live coaching sessions uh, two nights a week uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, eight sessions a month you can uh, attend those live or watch the recording so I run both coaching sessions and I've got a live trading room that I run three times a week as well but I include one month uh, of the coaching sessions uh, after the first month if you wish to subscribe uh, it's only $97 a month thereafter but um, you're not signing up for that initially okay you need to drop me an email uh, and actually I think my staff send you an email would you like to subscribe to and to continue to the coaching sessions we've got a few hundred members that attend those ses sessions let me get that out right uh, uh, each week okay let's move on so in today's session it was less than seven minutes of day trading the NQ so quite fast but still you'll be surprised that really how much you can do in seven minutes so I've got a target there of $1,000 a day of course you might go for $2,000 a day trading uh, uh, five lots it really depends on how much time you're willing to put in front of the screen uh, in front of your PC and the time of day also can make a big difference now I trade the after hours market it's called the Globex market where you've got still plenty of price action and I think usually fairly typically I'm trading between 1 and 2 a.m. Uh, central standard time now of course you might trade during the New York session where it's a lot faster now during that session you'd be trading a much higher time frame okay so you don't because the, the time frame I'm about to show you here is what we call a four tick Renko and remembering too you can trade on time-based charts 
tick charts it doesn't really matter I love Renko charts uh, however during the New York hours you need to increase your time frame so after commissions it was 1192 in seven minutes now you might have a goal with only 500 a day 400 a day it could be 10,000 a day well I tend to find that the young guns of course uh, want to earn a lot more money and good on you okay I've sort of lost that desire I'm nearly 64 and very comfortable on the income I can generate here so let's have a look at uh, just the stool charts here so you'll see there we took um, I had uh, well you can't well there's one trade here uh, and there's another couple of trades here which um, I'll explain on the live screen because I want to scroll along from what we call the right hand side and describe exactly what I'm looking for because that's what you need to be able to do now you also need to be checking regularly and this is really some of um, the best kept secrets if you like and I'm hesitant in even saying this secrets many of you of course the experienced traders know of these levels but so many people don't know how to trade these but they're very very important we need to know where our pivot levels are where the prior days open high low and close your major EMAs particularly on your anchor charts okay I use an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two that in what I'm actually doing is just looking at the higher time frame I want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame um, the intraday swings and highs that is the market will you know you'll have the high of day the low of day and you'll be sort of have these intraday swings they act as price um, magnets as does the high of the trading session and the low and the round numbers particularly on oil for me are very very important now if you're a brand new trader after some training you pick this up look it's not it truly isn't rocket science it's just about understanding the role they play in virtually every trading platform now has has these plot automatically so it just makes life so much easier now one thing I do want to bring up is one of the true secrets to my success as a trader and in training members and traders how to trade is really the questions that we ask unfortunately so many traders will have a few losses and then they'll look for the next shiny object syndrome and what they fail to do is apply what we call deliberate practice and uh, the right questions that is so many traders they have a losing trade and they will say and I know many of you are listening to me here will say yep I fall don't be don't be offended in this category but don't be offended by what I'm gonna say you don't know what you don't know if you don't know about this okay you're not going to apply it but what we've got to do is to change our thinking and most of the way for most of us the way we think is a habit when you have a losing trade we've got to look back and examine that what's not perfect yet how could I improve my entry my exit what did I learn from this trade what will I do differently next time what do I need to learn or do so this won't happen again now we're always going to have losing trades and uh, as you if you watch my videos regularly you'll hear me talk about the mistakes and I make mistakes every single session but that's okay as long as you're still overall following your trading rules and your core principles when it comes to trading we can we can always do better and likewise when it comes to our winning trades what do I learn from this trade how can I improve my entry how can I improve my exit and that's where your trade journal comes in now traders winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do and you know what this traders would have started to watch this now and now I bring this up if I've logged off they're going to look for the next best video which will um, uh, tell them how easy it is and how rich they can become but traders it's the fundamentals that make the difference when it comes to trading we've got to understand and practice the fundamentals so in this session today less than seven minutes three trades three wins let's go to the charts and have a look at these now let me just pull this up here we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll along from the right hand side okay now you could be 
and you may be a pure price action trader you may not want to use the stochastics down below or the long or, or the MACD which I use for divergence for an example here we can see we had a high high look at my MACD here it tells me I've got a reversal see how I've got a lower low in price I've got some what we call angulation and see there I've got divergence thank you very much even here I've got a lower low in price and look at my MACD I've got a higher MACD so learning how to use these tools as trade confirmations can make a massive difference and the best part is as I mentioned it's not rocket science all of these do you know what this is and that and this these are just patterns that's all they are traders is patterns so from the right hand side let me show you what I'm looking for so we can see here that I'm really quite flat so what I've got here is a 200 and an 89 EMA now I've now made a new higher high at the moment I'm a wee bit concerned because they're sideways now this is 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time okay so um, my apologies Central Standard Time and as I mentioned it doesn't matter um, really when you're trading as long as you've got some volume so you get home from work say at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, there's some great trading opportunities the markets are basically open 23 hours a day anyway back onto this so what I've got here is a new higher high I've now got a new higher low because what we've got to be very cautious of is around flat EMAs now this is where FOMO comes in fear of missing out and so many traders uh, of course want to take every potential trade or what looks like maybe a trade but what we want to do is look for what we call the 80 20 trades the 80 percent winners so now I'm getting interested because I've got this higher high and I've now got this higher low okay coming up hmm, pulling back uh, and just here and actually you can see the type here but um, just here now I've got a setup now the white paint bar are what I call my super scalpers so this helps me identify a potential trade so I'm going to be in on this trade uh, right now I've gone long now I could have got in a wee bit earlier on this trade here um, and one of the things I do is I'm looking at my anchor chart one particularly and if I have red candles on my anchor chart one I want to see a green candle on a higher time frame as well confirming the trend continuation and I've come up with this combination of great time frames that work where I've got my entry chart a certain time frame the anchor chart one and anchor chart two. a simple formula that I use it you can apply to any time frame so here we're going to go long and we are long and up we go and I'm filled now in this particular case as a scalp as a scalper I'm usually going for a fixed target and here um, I'm going for what I call seven steps one two three four five six seven oh, I went for nine in this case actually and what's above me okay that's why I went for a bit of a, a larger target here that's why um, and that is this line up here this is the uh, that white ghost white there that's the prior days close and they act as price magnets so what I'll usually do is target or go for a larger target because as a magnet it draws price in why do they work so well why do pivots open high low and close the major EMAs because we as professionals trade into them it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy okay we then have a retracement and this is a trade I actually missed and so for members watching this this was a t3 so unfortunately I missed that so um, as a t3 it's what we call a, a reversion to the mean uh, note the angulation here trade is very simple setup but very very effective so unfortunately I missed that one so as I'm now pulling back I'm now quite flat again okay and going along here so I decide not to take this um, uh, 
now that was a setup by the way and I'm not going to take this one I'm just going to wait and see what happens here it's just because of this flat price action and just prior to this we'd had a lot of uh, flat price action now by the way here I've got something very interesting set up in fact I, I do have a setup just here and I wouldn't be in it until now but I'll tell you what it is and I just uh, I missed that one just there to there see that there I've got uh, we actually call that a bet the farm uh, uh, members watching it look it's perhaps a little bit too far okay um, uh, so let me take away bet the farm but it is basically a double bottom with divergence so I actually actually had a trade there that I just noticed so here I'm still not in it uh, and as you can see there that would have been a beautiful trade actually we're now coming up here and We'll look at this here this is what we call angulation and I've now got right there a t3 set up now a t3 is once again I had a t3 over here where I've got a reversion of a mean now with a, a t3 setup you, I don't have to have divergence um, uh, I've just got to have a, a very simple pattern that sets up that works like a, a, a treat now with this one I made an error and the error is this I jumped the gun what I'm looking for when I've got a reversal sets up such as um, uh, a, a counter trend trade I should say or yeah or even a t3 I do want to see the third candle close why I want some added confirmation that I'm going to have a reversal in fact if I've got a standard divergence trade uh, I must also have the uh, at least one candle close on the anchor chart one very simple rules based well rules uh, but they save you from a lot of losing trades now what I did actually here the market was moving quite quickly so I jumped the gun a little bit um, jumped in a little bit too quick and it reversed however when I take a trade um, I'm usually looking at having my stop one tick above one tick above one tick below one tick below so of the swing on and this is the NQ so oh that, that will vary where I put my stop subject to the market so I did it jump in a little early now it still works out mighty fine and that's where I should have actually been in right there okay now whenever we take a reversal trade one thing that um, I call it um, do I have blue skies ahead so look what's in front of me so what we can see down here I've got major EMAs so do you know what I'm expecting I'm expecting a bounce and see my EMAs here this is what we call a fanning of the EMAs okay and that's what you're looking for as a trend trader I actually recommend that newer traders don't take these initially you want to focus on fanning EMA trades okay trading with the trend so I'm in this trade comes back here and I'm out thank you very much now I then come back and can you see what I've got just here we've got trending EMAs my EMAs are trending beautifully I'm in an uptrend and I actually made an error here so I get in here at the right time by the way okay so I do enter uh, this trade at the right time uh, even though I had a reversal candle that's fine that wasn't the error what I'd forgotten to do was to review where are my pivots the open high low and close so what I had just up here was the high of day and just notice here I've made a new higher high I've now got a new higher low and that's a footprint to a trend and so I took this trade and up we go and I exited on a normal exit okay I got out there uh, right at the um, gee and that was sort of right at the high of that candle uh, so it's a little bit of luck here. you usually see I get filled on different uh, prices there but anyway so we got out there at the at the same time uh, and no doubt lots of other traders were thinking this let's target the high and that's what I failed to do now that there is on five lots if I had have got out before there that just cost me $300 by not exiting a little early and it's what I call 
a, a rookie mistake no one offense meant by the way to traders that are brand new traders but really um, I sh I, I should be should have let me say that again should have been targeting now when we do target a high or a low like that what we want to do is front run that is we want to um, uh, exit a little early and see how we had a bit of a bounce and see how now we bound we do actually get through oops and here's some divergence now but see how we're bouncing off that I don't want to get caught here because what can actually happen is we can actually get a major reversal um, off those areas and so in fact some of your best divergence trades that you get set up will come off these highs uh, or the lows of the day the high of the day open high low and close and that's why I stress so often it's critical you know where they are now look at this divergence I've got here now this is a pivot bounce now um, let's just see so this is a trade uh, if I was still trading I would have taken now if we're taking this down here remember the question we ask what's in front of us now what I can see down here I've got my 89 and what's down below expect a bounce expect a bounce there it is uh, no there it is there now the first green counter you get that's what we call you get ready seconds you get set three is not quite a go because you still want to make sure your anchor chart one candle is closed which would have closed um, by then so traders um, what I had there was um, uh, seven minutes of trading so quite can I call it brisk I just um, took two with trend trades and a t3 reversal trade I didn't take uh, that one if I had it been trading that that is um, a no-brainer okay that one there now why not enter here why not take it there virtually no divergence okay you, you really want to have a quality divergence if you're going to uh, take a divergence trade so traders look this truly is not rocket science it's just about learning rules based patterns and applying those rules so the way I look at it there are three critical factors we've got uh, the psychology of trading and that is following your rules um, you know so many traders want to get rich quickly that rarely happens get rich slowly and I'm only talking about over months not years but get rich slowly in other words we've got to remember the psychology of trading following our rules that's 90% of trading 5% of trading is money management we never risk as day traders more than 2% the beautiful part about day trading today is you can start on a micro contract 10% so you only need 10% of the money you can get going now trading micros for only $500 and you can soon build within months you've then got sufficient capital on only $20 a day I've been able to then start trading the big contract is if you've seen some of my earlier videos you'll see that where I show you the charts get rich slowly and the last thing is your trading strategy that's only 5% of the mixture having a rules based trading methodology and that is what makes the difference those three things the three legs of the stool so traders um, make sure you subscribe to my channel better still become a member and come into my coaching sessions or at least watch the recordings because I've got members from all around the world so um, you get eight live to hour sessions where you can type in questions but uh, this there's, there's so many tra training materials as well there's hundreds of hours of videos now now for the newer traders and I know that freaks some traders out as I mentioned you uh, you know you start with the basics in fact there's really only two setups you need to learn and you could trade those the rest of your life and achieve what I'm showing you here it just might take you rather than say 10 20 minutes or an hour might take you 90 minutes okay that is what I call the 2b and the 34b two trend trading opportunities that's all you need to trade so visit my website so the link is below where you can join as a member make sure you've got my ebook so you'll also be able to come along and and get the live trading webinar but become a member traders because um, I've been now trading for 28 years let me save you 
years <laughs> of, of both um, time but also money okay I can definitely shortcut your learning um, cycle so traders thanks very much and I'll see you on the next video and hopefully in my classes